Three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back. Now, first of all, as always, you know what I'm about to say. If the first thing you could do on this video is hit that like, hit that thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button and that bell if you haven't already. I will love you guys forever. We are nearly at, I think we're around about three and a half thousand subs now. So we are like, man, the, the rate that this channel's growing, I just want to say a huge thank you, man, as always. Now, in today's video, you guys will be seeing this on Sunday. I'm recording this on Friday morning just before I'm about to start my weekend league stream. Okay, so I don't know the team of the season players that are out yet. You guys will see a video on that tomorrow where I review the new team of the season players that drop. So I'm going to review the whole squad. But anyway, into this video. What I'm going to be doing for you today is because the weekend league is here and this weekend league and for the rest of like the next two months, the weekend league is going to be very sweaty. Okay, so because of that, I'm going to tell you like my go to sweat formation and custom tactics it is the 4-2-3-1 i know it's a little bit boring but you most of you guys will be wanting more wins in the week and need to try and get you that extra team of the season pick and stuff like that so because of that i'm going to break it down for you and show you the custom tactics and the formation that i use when i'm really like full sweat and also i'm going to tell you like the best players that you should use in a 4-2-3-1 if that kind of makes sense if that you kind of get where i'm coming from yeah but yeah anyway let's get into it so this is the team. I know the team's like very paid to win. The team's a bit of a joke, actually. <laughs> like the team is an absolute joke. Van Dyke, Schmeichel. I'm try I haven't tried Schmeichel yet. Well, I mean I have for four games, but like I'm trying out Schmeichel. I did I've gone off Van der Sar a lot. I couldn't move him at all. So because of that, I've gone for uh moments Peter Schmeichel. Apparently he's got his own animations in the game, like in terms of like saving with his feet. And stuff like that. So because of that, I just wanted to try him out and just see if he was any good. If you kind of get where I'm coming from. Now, anyway, this is the team. Like, obviously, you start it off as you do just to get everyone on 10 chemistry. Samedo's probably... Now, team of the season's here. He probably won't be, but Samedo's the best right back on the game, man, for sure. As of right now, he's the best right back. 100% recommend him. Because he's medium high work rate and got the high agility and balance, he's absolutely perfect. Team of the year, De Jong is like a CDM, by the way. Wow. Excuse me, what a play. Now, the way I play 4 2 3 1, I'll tell you in a, I'll show you in a minute. But Rude Hull, it's my CDM that gets forward, if that kind of makes sense. And then De Jong is my CDM that just kind of like sits. Because the way you want to play 4 2 3 1, okay, is I'll go. I'll go into this in more depth as I show you the custom tactics. But the way you want to play 4 2 3 1 is you want one of your CDMs to be like a out and out CDM, so like a Kante or something like that. And then you want your other one, like Rude Hullet, obviously a lot of you won't be affording Rude Hullet, but you want someone that can play forward if you kind of get where I'm coming from. And then I then play R9 as always as the striker. It's the only place you can really play R9. I keep him in an R in between Team of the Year Ronaldo as a cam or Team of the Year Mbappe as a cam. I think I play better with Mbappe as my cam. And then like Ronaldo and Neymar out wide. A lot of people are telling me as well I should try Neymar as a cam and stuff like that. But when you've got Team of the Year Mbappe and Ronaldo, one of the, I feel like one of them should be playing cam rather than Neymar if you kind of get where I'm coming from. And then I'm trying out Alexandra. I've like, literally... Only as of last night, just done the Alexandro uh, player moments SBC. I was using this Perea just to get like the, f uh, just because he was untradeable. And then, by the way, look at these reds, yeah? Griezmann and Didi, Lewandowski, Abamyang, De Bruyne. The reds on this account, man, are on another level. Anyway, you guys are here for the custom tactics I'm going to show you. This is what I play when it comes to like sweat, okay? So, like, when I'm sweating. And stuff like that. In terms of like now in the weekend league, now I'm going to kind of like play it. Like not pro games, but I'm going to really try hard to get those top 100 finishes now because of like the team of the season rewards and stuff like that. Not even because I don't need the players, mainly just because of for YouTube content and to show you guys like that content, if that kind of makes sense. So pressure on heavy touch is what I play when I'm going like a sweat mode, which I will be playing now in the weekend league. Okay. I normally play on balance just because... I don't really care if I win, lose, or draw. Do I care if I get a 30 0? Not really. I mean, I would obviously lo love to get a 30 0, blah, blah, blah. But now, now I want a 30 0, okay? So now we move on to the pressure on heavy touch tactic, okay? Five width and five depth. The reason I then up the depth a little bit is because when I'm playing sweaty and I want to get more wins in the weekend league and stuff like that, I. You need to be careful if you're doing this. If you're not a good defender, I wouldn't recommend this. I'll show you what I'd recommend if you're not a very good defender. But five depth is perfect because. On four depth, they're, they're a little bit deeper, as, as you would guess, because it's four, not five. But on five, they're not YOLO. They're kind of in a good balance. They're not too high, and they're not too, like, drop-back-ish. 
So it's a really good balance in terms of like wanting to squeeze your opponent and stuff like that if you can't understand where I'm coming from. And the pressure on every touch is actually really, really broken, man. Honestly, it's like they pre the AI, your AI, your, like your defensive AI just press when your opponent messes up without you even pressing a button. It's so broken. It's like... I probably shouldn't be showing you this because like, I should probably keep this to myself. But you know what I mean? I want to help you guys improve. So honestly, pressure on heavy touch is a very, very, very broken custom tactic. I, right, as always, play on balanced defensive style. You can try long ball if you kind of want to get your players forward really quickly. A long ball is very good for like a counter-attacking style, if that makes any sort of sense. Fast build-up is a no-go. Only ever use fast build-up if you want to YOLO. It's, it's too fast, trust me. Possessions also... I used to play possession on FIFA 19 in terms of like the offensive style. But with possession, I find your players don't make enough runs in behind. You really have to manually like press LB to make your players run in behind. And it's really annoying, if I'm being honest. So I feel like you don't create a lot with the possession tactic. Possession tactic is good, though, for what it says on the tin for possession. Because your players keep dropping forward. If you want to be like a possession rat, obviously use possession because it will work. But balanced style, balanced for me, just works. It's not too YOLO-ish and it's not too passive in terms of the possession style. So balanced is absolutely perfect. The width, I always play on five. And um, players on the box, I always play on five. I used to play on six. I keep um and ah in between six and five. But when I'm trying to sweat, which I am now in terms of because now we've got the team of the season rewards and stuff, I'm going back to like what I know and what I know works, if that makes sense, rather than experimenting. Five players in the box, I've used it a lot. That works for me in terms of scoring goals. So that is what I use. Six, I always think with six, it's good. But sometimes you miss that player on the edge of the box, you know what I mean? Like I feel like everyone on six, sometimes they just YOLO into the box a little bit too much. Excuse me, so that's the only issue with that. Corners and free kicks, as always, go down to two. The reason being, it's on default, they will be on three. The biggest tip, if you're going to take anything from a custom tactics, please lower that down to two. When you're on three, the amount of, like, counter-attacks you will, like, concede from, from your own corner, your own free kicks is moronic. So, please change that. This is how, at the moment, is set up in-game. Obviously, uh, 94 on 9 striker. Neymar out wide, team of the year Mbappe and team of the year Ronaldo. These are the two that keep changing. I keep like swapping Ronaldo and Mbappe. I don't know which one works better. I really don't. I'm just thinking I'm just going to go with Mbappe and Cam. Mbappe is goated on this game, especially the team of the year one. And then De Jong on the right hand side and then Hullet on the left hand side. When I play with the 4-2-3-1, I always like my left CDM to be the attacking one rather than my right CDM. So for example, De Jong is my defensive CDM. I wouldn't play that. Just because out of habit, I've just always had the left-sided player. It's the same when I use a 4-4-2. The left centre mid in a 4-4-2 is the one I used on balance to get forward and help with the attacking play a lot more. So, as always, Rude Hullet is my left CDM, Frankie De Jong. Now, in terms of players that you could use instead of, like, these high-end players, the obvious one instead of R9 would be Ben Yedda. Everyone that I play in the weekend league has got Ben Yedda, whether it be the normal one, the inform one, the player in a month one. Foot birthday Rashford would be really good. Uh, foot birthday Griezmann if you got a bit more budget. Those type of players. Normal Mbappe. Normal Neymar's. Like any version of Neymar as a striker. Obviously, I'm not going to use Neymar as a striker when I've got all these players here. But if you're someone that, like, is, say, for example, on my RTG, I, I use Neymar as a striker, right? So Neymar's a really good striker. In terms of the three cams, I always go for pace and skill moves. You see how all my front four have got five-star skill moves? That is something that you really need to look at in terms of, for me, not for you, just for me. Uh, the way you see my attacking tutorials and stuff like that, I'm very skillful in terms of, I like to do a lot of skill moves and stuff like that. So because of that, five-star skill moves for me is a necessity in my forwards. Obviously, like Eusebio, if you're on a bigger budget, normal Neymar, normal Mbappe, players like that. Anyone that's just quick out wide, that's all you really need. Whether it's Screamer, Dharma, Traore, whether it's like Norma, Luzmane, Dembele, players like that. Foot Birthday Lozano is a really good outside cam in a 4 2 3 1. Just players like that. In terms of the like rude hullet role, in terms of like getting forward, Baby Zidane from the Icon Swaps is a very good one if you haven't already done the Prime Icon Pack. But like Baby Zidane, Scream Firmino, that's a lot cheaper. The new Inform Firmino, players like that that have got. That are like centre mid cards, but can also get forward and score goals, if that makes sense. Then in terms of CDMs, you've obviously got your obvious ones, like your Kante's, your Sissoko's, your people like that. And then your fullback and defenders. You guys know the defenders and fullbacks that are broken. I'm not going to bore you with all that statistics. Now, in terms of the what I use on the 4 2 3 one, as always, get in behind and stay forward on my striker. 
This is because getting behind, they make more runs in behind. The more players you have in the box, the more likely you are to score goals, right? I always say this on my custom tactics video. All three cams, this is a big tip. If you're going to take anything from it, please take this. Put all three of your cams on getting to the box for cross. I promise you, you will score more goals when they are getting to the box. I promise you, hand on heart, you will score more goals. And I mean that, okay? Having used... I've been a little bit of dabbling with stay forward on my middle cam just to try and create more of a counter-attacking scenario. Because I, I know it's all, with this team, I think a lot of people change their play style against someone when they match up a team like mine. They go like a lot more possession-based. So because of that, I feel like I need more on the counter-attack. But like I've said, this is like my sweaty custom tactics that I use when in, I want to win games, if, that, if you kind of get where I'm coming from. So because of that, I'm just going to go to the back to basics. All three cams get into the box for cross. These are the custom tactics that I'm going to use this weekend, okay, to try and get top 100. Cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, and cover center on your CDM that you want as your, on your right CDM, so the one that you want to be like a CDM, whether that be like Foot Birthday Sissoko, Footma Sissoko, someone like that. Obviously for me, Team of the Year, the young. Rude Hullet. So you want Rude Hullet on cut passing lanes and cover centre. Then on attacking support, you want him on balanced attack. You might not notice, you might think the difference between stay back and balance probably isn't a lot, but it's huge in game. Trust me. Rude Hullet will get forward so much on the 4-2-3-1, uh, like balanced, I promise you. And then as always, stay back while attacking on all my defenders. Overlap run type is irrelevant because I've got stay back while attacking. But these are the custom tactics that I'm going to be using this weekend. These are what I call like the sweaty go-to custom tactics, if that makes sense. Like... The ones that I use now where I won top 130, you know, so I'm going to use these sweaty tactics that I know work. Even in Pro V Pro Games, these are the custom tactics I use. So, guys, if you did enjoy this video and you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. Get us to 4K, man. The aim was 5K before FIFA 21, but the rate that this channel's growing, I think we're going to smash that out of the park. So, let's try, you know what, I'm going to put it out there, 10K before FIFA 21, okay? 10K, 10K before FIFA 21, that's the aim. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.